Hello everyone, I am Neoxenoc, and this is my Let's Play of Tomb Raider 1996, uh, the, the Greatest Hits Edition. This is episode number 9, after a, a s shortest episode I've ever done, I think, just o at over 5 minutes. I just kind of realized that after I had stopped and actually looked at the thing, but I, you know, could have sworn it was 10 minutes, or at least something a little bit, a little bit longer than what I had, but anyway... So, here we are, and we are going to continue right where we left off, but now we are at the, finally at the Tomb of Qualmpec. There are three secrets in this area. And now we have a shotgun. You know, despite the limited graphics of uh, what Tomb Raider 1 can do, especially in comparison to the later, all the later games, it does produce some very cool visuals to look at. It's really too bad that the Tomb Raider came out during the era it did. It really could have benefited from the higher-end uh, consoles or higher-end PCs or something like that. To, because Tomb Raider is very... There is a much more visual game, I think, than even a lot of people give it credit for. I mean, part of the reason Laura does what she does isn't just for the adrenaline rushes, it's just for the... It's the ability to do what she does, go to the places that she's in, and see the things that she sees. really need to fiddle around with the controls for the e for the the emulator I use is the EPSXE and again I don't know if this is just this being a PlayStation 1 game and especially an early and somewhat poorly rendered one at that or if this is the uh, emulator or if it's a combination of the two This is the only way to go. Yep, and that's the. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> yep. Now, Laura's never getting out of here. Maybe? Oh, she's still good. Wasn't so big. Yeah, I guess it had to have its Indiana Jones moment. I mean, the influence of Indiana Jones on this game is blindingly obvious. So it looks like there's a switch here. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick check of my... Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Of my strat guide here. Uh, yada yada yada, boulder traps, uh, find a switch. Alright. So, does I, do I pull the switch? And the answer is, yes. Doing what I should have done at the very beginning. Alright, get in front of me. Wonderful. Whenever you can, you want to use the one with the infinite ammo instead of the one with the limited shots. So yeah, the raptors came from here, and there is a save crystal. We won't end the episode two yet. I'm not going to do another super short episode. I'm going to try to be a little bit more mindful of the time because I've been very terrible at that.
so all right so yeah four-way intersection save crystal and the console versions uh, to right a face ahead of sun to left the bird okay There's no secrets, it seems, for a little while. Where is the next secrets? Uh, da, 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 da. This looks like it's a ways ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Not until after the three gates, it seems. Okay, door with the face picture. Which is that one, it seems. Okay. So I would surmise that I'm supposed to. Oh, I see. That's not a door, that's a block. Big, giant, perfectly fitting block. Sadly, the block pushing only gets worse in the second game. You can really hear her straining to push them. <sighs> yeah, well, that happened. Well, that's what happens when you don't look down. I guess we're starting over from the very beginning. Yeah, we probably won't have any issues with time and some of the, starting with some of the later levels, partly because of uh, having the restart from death like that, and partly because, uh, well, mostly because of that, actually. Anyway. Quite as exciting as the one in Indiana Jones, but man, when you first come across that, that definitely gives you quite the startle. Anyway, to the face! Mindful of these ancient traps. Take advantage of the fact that you can point the camera literally anywhere. Always try to get a good look at your environment, which is what I didn't do. And I would have noticed that the the cracks that is quite obvious from this angle. We've just done that. So the objective here is just to open all of these doors. Since that was pretty easy and fairly swift, I'll just move on to the next one.
Oh, for the most part, the camera. Oh, there's another one. Given the way that this is in here, it seems like it should be significant over something, but it's probably just decoration. In later games, it might even be, might even indicate that it's a movable object. Nope. supposed to push that forward or if I'm not I could look it up in the strat guide but I too like to live dangerously yeah I can just push it out of the way I'm sure it doesn't matter looks like it has some kind of handle at the bottom of it Pick it up. There we go. Not that it ever bothers me to look at her in that way. There's just more important things to do right now. One of the benefits of getting older, you're not always completely distracted in that way. And it helps that my girlfriend is as large as she is. after every any one of these that she must like need a massage and some severe aching can imagine all the aches and pain she must have after one of these ventures okay so this is the way out it seems yeah Now for the final face, after which I shall save. Early. Um. This is our first major puzzle room. And I remember this room, but I remember little else except that it exists. So, I think that might be a good sign that it's a good time to save! And then continue that the next episode. So it seems like a very... An area that uh, I might end up dying in. 
So, all right, everyone, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Take care and goodbye.